Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Joe Arnold. Um, today, I'm, I'm going to go. Mike and I are going to be are sharing a slot. I'm going to go for five minutes. Mike's going to go for five minutes. I'm going to talk about the uh, what was done with the first OpenStack deployment. So, I've been working with OpenStack since it was announced, and um, I was part of the first OpenStack Swift deployment, which was the object storage system, and that happened in, in February of this year. And then later, just a few weeks ago, um, in October, late, late October, was the, the release of OpenStack <coughs> Compute. Um, so right now, uh, I'm currently doing private cloud storage deployments with a company called SwiftStack. So what was done with Swift? We had, when OpenStack was, was announced, there was two components. The first component was OpenStack Compute, which is called Nova, and the other project was called OpenStack Swift, and that was an object storage system which came out of Rackspace. And this is the same code that Rackspace is using in production today to service their, their product cloud files. And so what we did here with Internet was we, we did a pretty reasonable deployment. It was, it's about 2,000 disks, which is about a petabyte of, of usable data. And what it means is it validates that OpenStack was, is ready to be used in commercial deployments. It can be deployed in some place outside of Rackspace. So it's not just a Rackspace science experiment. It's something that can be really used in production. And then we worked on, on compute. I'll let Mike dig into that some more. Um, but again, the deployment at Internet at least validates the fact that a project that originally came out of, out of NASA, which was used largely to serve a scientific community, it can, be, it can be coerced and worked on to get deployed in a commercial context. And so I think that's, that's what's really validating here. All right, so when we got started, just app get install OpenStack, right? <laughs> right? No, there's so many things. There's so many things that need to be done. Um, and it surprised us at every step along the way. I mean, we just had to, we had to work on a portal system. We had to do authentication integration. Yeah, there's components in OpenStack to provide that, but it needs to be integrated with, that, with the customer's database. The portal systems need to be integrated into their environment. We had to even integrate, they had a CDN that needed to be integrated with. So there's many, many components that need to be integrated, and these are the seams that are around OpenStack. They're going to be part of almost every deployment that there, that there is. Oh, and even like ecosystem tools, we had, when we went to do our initial launch, we had to go to open source tools that were originally designed for Rackspace, and we had to modify them to make them work more generally for more for 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 OpenStack deployments. So that's fixing you know Ruby and Java and and C sharp libraries in order to make them compatible. So a lot of work that needs to be done. The lesson lesson learned is is. I mean, it, it takes a village to get this stuff done. <laughs> I mean, we had, a, we had a talk with data center guys. I mean, we're putting in racks of gear, and that chew up tons of power. How does that get done? Networking engineers, storage engineers, and then just the, well, the diverse amount of development skill to get everything that needs to be done from uh, virtualization engineers, storage engineers, to user experience designers. There's, there's so much work that needs to be done. Um, and so you got to have a team. You got to have a team. But so the, the message here that I want to, I just want to share. <laughs> the message is you can do it. Okay. I mean, you can, you can install this stuff. It's ready. Right. And and those who do it are the most interesting people, people. in the world. <laughs> I mean, look, we're, look at us. We're all here at 10 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. Right? I mean, yeah, let's give it up. Yeah, let's give it up. This, is, this is fun.
fun to us, <laughs> right? We're early adopters. I mean, we were the people, you know, who are sticking floppy disks, you know, with Slackware, you know, <laughs> in the early days to try to get it up and running. I mean, this is this is what what really drives us up. And I think we're all here today because we want to learn about about open source, about open tools that make our work better. And we want open source because it, we can create more agile organizations that are more flexible, you know, we, that we can change the code because it's sitting there to do what we want it to do. And so that's it. Um, thanks. Uh, looking forward to, to the weekend and learning from everyone. So Great. thanks. Thanks a lot, John. <laughs>
<laughs> Who's that? This is Swift Cluster on the left side. <laughs> and we are listening for some voice from the racks. We actually, <laughs> they're talking beeping, to you? Some beeping over there, so it's like some hard drive <coughs> broken or something. Okay, so we're going to fix it. Uh, and actually, we got uh, hardware like, like uh, two weeks before <coughs> production, so we were really crazy during last two weeks and during last week after the production launch, so fixing some minor <laughs> bugs. Yes, we do have bugs, but all the block blockers are fixed and uh, only minor bugs are still in there. This is from the back side of some rack. Whiteboard. We have plenty of whiteboards in, in the office, and we use all of them. <laughs> so people just talking about life, I guess. <laughs> uh, here is conference room. <coughs> I'm pointing to some, just pretending that something useful on the whiteboard. <laughs> no comments here. <laughs> And this is Zen Corner, some guys are just creating this cool <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Even on the left side of on the table, you see that? There's a little, uh, the small fountain, kind of. <laughs> and we had to, like, celebrate our lunch. This is not all the group of people. Some of them left at the time picture was taken, but some of them are here. You see me again behind, uh, Chris on the left side, Roman on the right side, and Steve was with the battle line. <coughs> see how we in, like, uh, sorry for in uh, ballroom. Uh, ballroom. See on the top, so we are celebrating our lunch. And that's all. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.